and welcome to the Pickle Jar. My name's Josh, and in today's video, I'm going to show how to paint a molten sword effect. Hi guys, and welcome back to another tutorial here on the Pickle Jar channel. Last week I painted a Primaris Captain in Gravis armour wielding a power sword and I decided to paint that up in a molten effect. And I had quite a few comments on various social media platforms asking me how I managed to achieve this sort of fiery molten sword look because they really liked it. So I thought I'd put together this quick tutorial for you today to show you how I got the effect on that sword. It's nice and simple and it looks really effective so if you want to use this on your own salamanders or anything else that could do with having a molten fiery sword then here's the tutorial for you. Just want to say before we carry on that if you are enjoying the tutorials that we're putting out here on the Pickle Jar, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and any suggestions for future tutorials on the channel. With all that said, here we go with the tutorial. So I started off by basing the sword in Wraithbone Contrast Spray. I then took Flash Gits Yellow and proceeded to paint in the middle area of the sword. You can cover the entire sword if you want, but it's the middle part that's going to be remaining yellow, so don't waste your paint. And it's important at this stage to get a nice even covering so that it gives you a nice foundation to work on later on in the painting process. Once the yellow was on, I then took Troll Slayer Orange and proceeded to paint around the edges, covering the areas where I had not covered in yellow. Once this was done, that then is the entire sword covered in paint. So you can see that it's the yellow in the middle and then orange around the edges. But you don't need to be particularly neat with this, you don't need to blend it particularly well because the look that we're going for is a sort of jagged, fiery look and the uneven effect really helps get the image of sort of fire and flame across. Once again it's very important to get a nice even covering as this is your base coat for the edges. With that done I then took some Evil Sun Scarlet and proceeded to paint further around the edges, uh, a thinner layer than the orange so I'm leaving some of the orange showing. As you can see here I'm sort of feathering this on in, in jagged formations down the edge of the blade. Now depending on how bright you want your sword to be, you can either leave less of this around the edge or you can paint more on and leave less of the yellow area in the middle showing. Now that's all dependent on personal preference and how bright you want the sort of flame and molten look to look. I wanted mine quite bright so I decided to just put a little bit of red around the edge. Once that was done, I then mixed in some Doombull Brown with my Evil Sun Scarlet and proceeded to paint even smaller details around the edge of the sword. So once again, this is not sort of just another layer, this is staggering and putting jagged lines around the edge. So I'm covering up some of the Evil Suns from the previous layer, but then in other places I'm going over that and into the orange. It's very important that you don't just try and do nice, even transitions on this because as I said earlier the look that you want to go for is a sort of uneven fiery look. It's also very important to note that you need to be painting the bottom of the blade next to the hilt as it's the middle of the sword not just from the edges but from the top and the bottom as well that needs to be glowing so the bottom needs to be darker colours. Once this was done I then took some Rhinox Hide and proceeded to edge the sword as you can see I'm doing in this bit here. I then proceed to add even fewer little jagged marks up and down the edge. Now the first time that I ever attempted doing a molten sword I used uh, Abaddon Black for this stage but I decided the Rhinox Hide looks a lot better as it's a more natural fit with the red colour that was on previously. Once that was done I then took a yellow glaze, I'm using Lamenta's Yellow, and put that on the yellow section in the middle just to brighten that up a tad. 
And then once that was dry, I took some flash kits yellow and mixed in a little bit of white scar, just to give a pale yellow, and then proceeded to add one final highlight down the middle of the blade, just to give that final bright center to the glowing sword. Once again, depending on how bright you want your sword to be, you can add less or more of this and you can go closer to pure white if you want to go really bright. But I personally think that the slightly off white pale yellow looks best. So just for the purpose of showing this off in the tutorial, I painted up the arm and the hilt. And there you go, that's the fiery sword finished. So there you go guys, that is how I painted the Molten Sword for my Salamander Captain last week. It's a nice, easy process to follow and the end result I think looks really, really nice. If you're thinking of having a go at doing this yourself, be sure to tag us in any pictures that you put up on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. The links to all our social media pages are down below in the description, where you can join in with the discussion that we have there every week. Thank you very much for watching the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. And if you are new to the pickle jar, then be sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the tutorials that we release in the future. That's all from me. I'll see you next week with another video.